Okay, so for this one, Seth borrows X for four years at an annual effective interest rate of about 8% to be paid with equal payments at the end of each year. The outstanding bond loan balance at the end of the 30 years through 5, 5 to 9.12. Tell the the principal repaid in the first payment. Okay, so we there are two different methods in solving it. The first method that I'm going to present is going to be the easier method. So usually whenever you are trying to find the outstanding balance at a certain time period, we always have to use the initial like layout or payment uh, or principal. Yeah, we always have to use the uh, principle that usually occurs at time one or any other indication marker that you can think of to find the uh, outstanding balance in the future. It just has to be a payment, a principle paid before it. But yeah, and then multiplied by the effective interest rate to the number, to the time that we're looking for, right? So it says that borrows X for four years and an annual effective interest rate of 1.8% to be repaid with equal payments, okay? The outstanding low bounce at the end of the 30 years, 559.12. So what I would do is I would do 559.12 as the outstanding balance in time three. We don't know what the principal paid initially is but we're gonna find that from uh accumulating it to uh three years so it says that the annual effective rate is eight percent so we're gonna input that in there and then we'll end up doing 559.12 divided by uh, 1.08 to the three to find the uh that the year one principal accumulated uh, from one to three is uh, 443.84, which happens to be uh, choice A. But yeah, so this principal repaid would occur at time one. And if we were to accumulate it to a certain amount of years, it would equal 559.12 five, 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 as the outstanding balance that they've stated before. Now, another uh, method in uh, calculating this is that we, they mentioned four years, right? And that we borrowed this amount for four years, right? So we could just set up a present value equation of four years at 8%, but for the payment occurring for the borrowing, uh, we wanna figure out a prin the principal or a principal that happens at time four at least. So what we're gonna do is that we could also take five, five we again use the outstanding balance equation five five nine point twelve as the principal were paid accumulated to one more year to times four and then we'll end up getting uh six oh three point eighty four Once we do that, we use that as the principal repaid to input it in this equation. We use our TDM, so we're going to say that 603.84 is payment for the number of years, eight is the interest rate, zero is the future value, compute present value. So it would be 2000. Now, this also revolves the concept of uh, payments will always equal uh, interest equals uh, e interest plus principal, right? So now, we they gave us an effective interest rate of 8%. So let's multiply this loan by 8%. That's what we always usually have to do with the effective interest rate to find the amount of interest that we need to pay out. We have to multiply it by the loan. So 2,000 times 0.08, which is uh, 160, right? 
160, we want to find the principal repaid in the first payment, right? So we designated 603.84 as our payment of each year. Now let's subtract to find the principal. So we'll do 603.84 minus 160, and then we'll get still get 443.84, which is choice answer A.